Hi everyone! Welcome back to the CaseGuard Studio training course. So far, we have covered the two manual video redaction methods within CaseGuard, manual redaction and object tracking. I saved the best for last. In this video, I'm going to cover the automatic detection method, which truly simplifies the video redaction process. CaseGuard Studio uses powerful machine learning technology, allowing you to perform your redactions as quickly and as simply as possible. With just a couple of clicks, you can automatically redact faces, license plates, vehicles, people, screens, checks, and signatures. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First, I'm going to add another file to my project. I'm going to select a video with many faces that would take me hours to redact manually. The new video popped up under my Project Files panel. To redact video using automatic detection, select the Automatic Detection button represented as a smiley face on the left-hand side of your workspace. In this window, you can select what you want the AI to detect. You have the option to select faces, screens, license plates, papers, people, vehicles, checks, and or signatures. I want to mention that you are not limited to selecting one option. You can mix and match to suit your redaction needs. For this example, I'm going to select faces. Click Next. Here, I can select what shape and effect I want to apply to my redactions. For the shape, I will stick with the ellipse shape. For the effect, I'm going to select the blur effect. You also have the option to adjust the effect level bar up or down, just like in the previous videos. There are three types of redactions to choose from in this window. Standard, which will place a redaction over any faces detected. Reverse, which will redact everything but the face, and full frame, which will redact the entire frame. For this example, I'm going to stick with standard. Click Next. Here, I can select where I want my effects to be applied. I have the option to choose between whole file or selected range. Let me show you. I can select a time where I want the redaction to start and a time to end the redaction. Everything outside of this time frame will not be redacted. I can also move the cursor to select my start and end time. I'm going to select the whole file. Click Next, Advanced Options. Here, you can leave audio as is, or mute, bleep, or resample the entire audio file. I will leave it as is. Classify Results is automatically selected. I will explain why this is important once the video has run detection. Confidence is set at 20% by default, this means that the machine will recognize and redact the object if it is 20% confident it is the object you selected. If you find the machine is over-redacting, you can increase the confidence percentage. If you find the machine is not redacting enough, you can decrease the confidence percentage. We recommend leaving it at 20%. Finally, you have the option to schedule your automatic detection. Instead of running the detection immediately, you can schedule it to run when you go home for the evening. This is useful if you are working with large files that take a long time to detect. Now, we are ready to start our detection. Let me click Detect. You can see the progress bar at the bottom of your workspace, which shows how far into the detection process you are. The video is done detecting. Let me click Play. As you can see, every single face in this video has been redacted automatically with minimal input from me. Over in the Object Detection panel, you can see many more faces than in the previous videos. Each individual face is identified and redacted. This is because we selected the Classify option under the Advanced Settings in the AI Automatic Detection panel. The number below each face indicates how many frames the object was detected in. A helpful tool that can be found under the Object Detection panel is the GoTo feature. By clicking the Go To button next to any face, the system will locate the object in the video and move the video to the frame where the object first appeared. The object which you selected will have a dotted line around the redaction box, helping you locate the object you selected in the frame. Another helpful tool in the Object Detection panel is the eye to the right of each object detected. This button will allow you to disable your redactions for just this object. This is useful if you need to redact everyone in the frame except for a couple of people. For example, if a parent requested this video with their child unredacted, I could simply run AI Automatic Detection and disable the redaction on their child. You can also disable a redaction by right-clicking on a redaction box and selecting Disable. 
I'm going to export my redacted video. When the video is done exporting, it will appear under my Project Files panel. You can see it's already done and in my panel. Wow, it looks great! With just a few clicks, I redacted a video that would have taken me hours to do manually. I'm going to add another file to my project. I'm selecting a video with more movement this time. To run AI Automatic Detection, I'm going to click on the smiley face button again. This time, I'm going to select faces and license plates. I'm going to go with the blur effect. Click Next. I'm going to uncheck the Classify Results box this time. The difference is now you have all of the faces under one object and all license plates under another object. While when classification is checked, we have every face as an individual object under the Object Tracking panel. Unchecking the classification will enhance the speed of the detection, and it's recommended to be used if you are planning to redact all faces. If you need to leave one person unredacted, you will have to use the classification. The red lines you see above the play bar indicate how many objects have been detected in that frame. Here, there are no red lines as the machine did not find any heads or license plates. This thicker chunk indicates multiple objects have been detected in that frame. You can see the Objects and Frame panel does not have any actual license plates or faces. This is due to unchecking the Classify Results option. The machine is recognizing faces, but it is not distinguishing between the faces. Let's play the video so you can see the detection yourself. Notice how it caught the reflection. Similarly over here. Oh, I think I saw him drop a frame. Let me use my left arrow key on my keyboard to go back a few frames. Here it is. I'm ensuring the redaction box covers the suspect's head. Now, my redaction box is over the AI Automatic Detection Redaction box and is no longer needed. I'm going to right-click on the box that I drew and select Disable from Next Frames. This will remove my manual redaction box from the next frames. Let me continue playing. It looks great. Let me show you what happens when I try to disable the officer's head when I did not select classify results. All the other head detections were also disabled. In order to enable them, I'm going to select the eye to the right of the head. I'm going to export this video. Our video is done exporting and has popped up under our project files panel. Let me play it for you. You can see that the AI automatic detection caught all the faces in the video, including the reflections in the window. It also caught all of the license plates. This is where I drew the redaction box. Notice the license plate was caught here and here. You can always make edits by clicking on the original video in CaseGuard Studio. That's all I have for you today. We have covered the three video redaction methods within CaseGuard Studio, manual redaction, object tracking, and automatic detection. In the coming videos, I will cover audio and document redaction, as well as showcase some of CaseGuard's more advanced features. I hope you'll join me. See you there.